everyone, my name is Atharv Bhatt and I've done my PGTM in Marketing and Business Analytics from Jaipuri Institute of Management and I've been placed at Tribo Hotels as a Territory Sales Manager. So I did my BBA from Amity University which is a whole world in its own self and I would say that Jaipuriya is a very very controlled and a very let's just say very considerable as far as my uh, undergraduate college is concerned and uh, more specifically it's very much focused on providing the right opportunities to the right student which a lot of B schools don't do out there so yes Jaipuriya has an edge over all the B schools out there. I've been appointed as a territory sales manager at Tribo Hotels. They are in budget hotels and they provide accommodation and experience at the same front and my profile is definitely looking forward to maintaining relationship with the existing clients, look forward for new clients and predict sales and project those sales and meet clients on a daily basis. So our interview process was very rigorous. We were asked to conduct uh, and we were asked to participate in three different rounds of interview. Firstly, we were asked to participate in the GD, which was conducted by the company itself. Then we went through a very aggressive process of shortlisting. And finally, a few of us were selected for the final round, which lasted for, I think, two to two and a half hours easily. And then there was another round conducted to finally place us at Tribo Hotels. So I've been a market researcher, uh, both formally and informally, and business analytics at Jaipur is something that is very, very supervised and very controlled. And by supervised, I mean that you have a lot of opportunities to look forward to when it comes to AI integration, hyper automation, automation, they have it all covered. And when it comes to the tools pro efficiency, we have been taught all sorts of tools, Power BI, Tableau, and other tools which are industry-based. So business analytics at Jaipur is very, very good. So my overall experience has been of all peaks and troughs. I mean, there were some good moments, there were some bad moments, but at the end of the day, there were majority of good moments. We look forward to the fest that were conducted and the curricular uh, projects that we were doing, they were actually enriching and very knowledgeable. And the research helped it a lot. So my journey at Jaipuri as a student was excellent. I mean, it definitely helps them to enhance their communication because when you are in any club or committee, you have to take that stance. You have to take that opportunity to invite people to collaborate with different departments in order to make a successful event. And also they have to realize that since you are in a committee, you are representing the committee as a whole. And that is very important because when you're going to an organization, it's going to help you a lot as you will be representing the company itself. So it has definitely helped. So diversity is actually quite exemplary over here. I mean, I've met a lot of students from very different backgrounds and it helps us to understand different cultures because I'm a delight myself and uh, I've not met a lot of people from different backgrounds since I've not traveled that much. But uh, diversity at Jaipuria is something that anyone should look forward to. So the first reason that anyone should look forward to is the ROI. Definitely the ROI at Jaipuria is much higher as compared to all the other private institutions out there. Second is the faculty support and the touch with mentors because that is something that I feel is absent in a lot of other private institutions. And thirdly would be the opportunities that Jaipuri offers to a lot of students. So these are the three reasons why anyone performing in a CAT exam should look for Jaipuri. They were very supportive when it came to providing us different opportunities, when it came to mock interviews, IDP and everything else. And uh, it was quite a uh, drag for us to understand what kind of interviews we will be looking forward to but at the end of the day it was something that uh, trained us to perform really really better as I was a freshie so they have definitely helped us a lot. I think what they should definitely look forward to when they are coming is to control the pace over here because there is a lot of activity going on whether it's curricular or extracurricular and also to ease it out because it's a PGTM college and you have to make sure that your clarity and focus is on the right spot. So yeah, just control your pace and enjoy the life over here. Like I would definitely say gold mine, a gold mine of opportunities. Uh, education proficient uh, because the faculty over is very, very knowledgeable and they have helped us a lot in achieving different tangents and supportive. These would be the three words. I mean, uh, one of the most important tips would be to just relax and enjoy this whole journey of doing PGDM from Jaipuria because a lot of students get in this hassle of completing 100 things at the same point of time. So definitely control your pace. It's going to help you a lot. Secondly, would be to maintain good relations with both your colleagues and your faculty because they are going to be your contacts when you go into the professional world. And third would be to build your own identity because it will definitely shine 
as you sit for the final placements during your last year at Jaipuria. So the alumni network at Jaipuria is very vast and it has definitely helped a lot of students to conduct a lot of events and definitely brought a lot of companies also since the alumni network is spread across different MNCs and different startups and on a pan India or a global basis I should say then the alumni network has definitely helped both freshers and experienced candidates to hone their skills as professionals once they enter the industry.